Mag has had a super double here with Centerill and Vau, and his wife Maureen now uh, joins us. Thanks for coming over. That really exciting young fillies, aren't they both? Yeah, they are quite different. The first one's quite sharp and, and goey, and Johnny had to drop her in and get a bit of cover and get relaxed, and she finished well. And the other one finished well, but came from a long way back. <laughs> it was a bit... Um, I'm, Johnny said they went very fast and she was a bit green um, but she she stayed on really well she stays well and this is Vau who's a half sister to beaten up and a half sister to Harris Tweed and she's got an oak sentry is that the aim well I think you've got to aim there yes for sure um, we've got to do what's right for the filly but um, she's quite different to them in that they're both beaten up especially quite free and Harris Tweed as a three-year-old was always quite strong she is quite lazy actually and take you know if you give her half a chance she'll just doddle along um, so I, I you know I think maybe when she got in behind there she thought she was just gonna follow them around but um, but look, you, you've got to aim for that, but it's a long way off and there's a lot of water to go under the bridge between now and then. She was very green as well today. She should have learnt quite a bit from that. She'll come on a lot, yeah. yeah. She'll come on a lot. Yeah. And do you have an idea where you and William might favour going to use as the, as the next step for her, the next step up in grade? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, she might come back here just because the, the time timing works quite well. Um, but there are a few options, but... I think, see, you know, she'll know she's had a race today. It's heavy old ground out there and, um, you know, he wasn't hard on her, but just going that far in ground like this first time, she, she'll know she's had a race. So we'll give her a bit of time. And, of course, it's a path you've trodden before because this time last year we had Dancing Rain winning the second division of this maiden. That's it, yes. Well, she sort of, I mean, obviously looks totally different to Dancing Rain, but is a similar type in that she gallops and stays. And so she's, she's a sim t similar type of filly, yeah. And how about Centerill? Uh, she's a daughter of Superstar Leo. She's a half-sister enticing. So uh, in some ways, it was a bit of a surprise to see her not running over a bit shorter. Well, half the reason she came here was because she's been quite tricky in the stalls, and Gary Witherford's done a lot of work with her, and it was sort of near to where he lives. So it sort of suited quite well to bring her here, and we, we really didn't think she would stay, to be honest with you. Um, but he got her well settled, Johnny, and, and she came home well. Mm. But she might be a bit sharper next time, so... Yeah, she's by Dane Hill Dancer. She, she might be a proper seven furlong filly, but I don't think she'd get a mile. These are testing conditions as well today, so yeah, definitely yeah, well, surprising, I suppose. Her mother loved it. Well, she won two little races in very heavy ground. She went through it really well, but, you know, they don't all love ground like this, especially first time. And she didn't seem to bother her. She's strong, though. You know, she's a strong filly. And how good do you reckon she might be? Because she's really strode away from a horse that's also finished clear of the rest of the field. Yeah, um, well, she looked... Hard to say, but she looked useful, you know, and it would be great that, to have a, a nice filly for Lale Stable, who have been fantastic supporters of ours. And mm. So, you know, it would be great if she was good. So might it be Pat and Company next for her? Um, maybe just not. We'll see, really. That's Williams. That's not my department. <laughs> That's enough. for William and the owners to decide, no. Um, but I think there again, see how she is, because she's, she's not... You know, she's not that laid back. She's quite goey and, you know, we just see how she is after the race. But, um, but no, she's, she's nice. I must ask you about some of the other stable stars, notably Dancing Rain. Obviously, she's had that setback. What exactly has happened to her? Um, she had, um, well, she, we found some chips in her joint. She came, she came, ran in Japan at the end of last year, came back absolutely fine and sound but possibly she chipped her joints there I don't I don't know she came back in she did a month's trotting she was great moving well started cantering and then she just had little niggles a foot and a you know just little things just couldn't get her right and then she must have got cast one night and her joint was big in the morning and we thought just a just a normal joint that you get when they get cast sometimes anyway didn't go didn't go so we x-rayed her and we found these joints that been moved off the actual joint the, the bone so they needed to come out and when we x-rayed the other joint she had chips as well that were still in the sort of in a safe place but the same thing could have happened so yes. we needed to take those out as well so she's at home recuperating now when's the earliest we'd see a late summer early autumn I would think so yeah I think you know rehabilitation for these sorts of injuries is very important mm -hmm. and and there's so many big races in the autumn and winter that um, you know there's there's no tearing hurry yeah, yeah that's it yeah. and how about beaten up how's he come out of the Shima Classic yeah great he's he's actually took the traveling and the whole thing really well which for an inexperienced mm -hmm. horse was was good and he's come home 
looking great and in good form and I think we'll just try and find a small you know listed race or a little group three or something and just try and get him back on the right track and then take it from there are you thinking are you hoping if that goes to plan that you're looking at top races I mean obviously Shima Classic group one so we think yeah. about things like the King George and stuff and races so. like that yeah I hope so that's that would be the plan and he's been bought through the winter um, half him was bought by some Australian owners so you know maybe in the autumn go down for the Cox Plate or, or Caulfield Cup or one of those sorts of races maybe if that's but I think they'd like him to be a sort of international type horse and he's a gelding so it makes sense to try and win a bit of money with him now, I could go on and talk about your horses endlessly, but I'm going to su suffice with one more, who is Diala, who's entered in the in the 1,000 guineas. Mm. Um, is she going to make that race? Not sure. She's she's great, looks well, um, doing well, just got a little bit behind. Um, I think William's going to work her in the morning and next week, I th when the next forfeit is... I think the week after next, I isn't it? Right, yes. So uh, he'll probably have made his mind up by then, and and we'll see. Um, but she's she's lovely, yeah, really nice filly, and her form is good. So we'll we'll see. But there again, it's not the be all and end all. There's lots of other really nice races, and and I think you know if he's really happy with her, fine. If not, we'll just wait. And you know, Coronation's quite a nice race to win if she's that good. Something of an understatement. Yeah. Did she? Has she done well over the winter? Yeah, yeah. she has. She's a big, strong filly. She's a big, big powerful, forward-going filly. You know, big girl. Yeah. Well, many congratulations with this double. Two really exciting fillies, and I look forward to watching your horses race during the rest of the season. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks.